What's up YouTube land? Welcome back to another episode of Pinhook Outdoors. It's finally spring here in Indiana. Super excited about it. I can't wait to be outside a lot more. Um, today I'm going to uh, show you guys a little bit of fishing for uh, creek chubs and shiners. Um, ideally I like to catch them, use them live, um, but we're getting ready to head into the heavy rain season. Um, so that's, that's usually a good time to get out and catch some catfish. So I'm just going to catch a big freezer bag of them. Put them in the freezer, pull them out, thaw them, and, and use them as cut bait when I need to. Um, sometimes it's hard to catch bait when the rains are real bad, um, so this is a good time to do it. I was going to do this last week, but the creek was still too high and muddy to really uh, have any success catching bait like this. So um, stay tuned and show you what we get. You gonna lead the way, Evie? Huh? Let's look at that water. That is a beautiful color. Still up and moving pretty quickly, but at least the clarity is good now. It looked like coffee last week when I was down here. So let me show you guys what I use to catch chubs. Very, very simple. Fine. Find the smallest hooks you can. That's about probably a size eight. For bait holders, but I couldn't find any at the store last time I went out and bought bait hooks. So that right there, a couple split shots, and all you need. I mean, I've used pieces of hot dog and bread and all sorts of stuff for them, but nothing gets them like just a tiny little chunk of a night crawler. So I pinch off. I usually start on this end. That's usually the end that they crawl with. There's usually a band right there. You can see it. So if you pinch off above that. That night crawler usually won't go back down in the dirt. You can find it and keep pinching off little sections of it. Sometimes all you need is one night crawler to catch about two dozen chubs. Chub on, I believe. Or, no, it's a rock bass. Huh. You're not what I wanted. You would make great live bait, but I'm not going to stick you in the freezer. Nope. First fish, decent little rock bass. That time I was just letting it sit, so maybe that's the key right now. A lot of times those chubs, they just move so fast that it doesn't hurt to just keep casting and casting until you figure them out. But that guy hit on the when it was setting, so let's see what happens. Got another fish on here. Or, or no, I don't. I actually caught a rock. I thought that was a fish, but it's a rock. Caught a rock bass, and then a legit rock. That had me excited for a second. Had some weight to it. I was like, I don't know what I have here. One more cast here and then I'm going to go try and find another spot because they just don't seem to be here right now. upstream here to another spot where I've caught them before. I'm going to try this Ned rig first, see if there's any smallies sitting here. Which I don't think there will be. Not that this is a bad spot for smallmouth, but it's still pretty cold and quick right now. 
good news is I think I just saw a chub dart out at my Ned rig when it first hit the water there. If I'm lucky, I'll sit here and catch a nice bag full of them and head on my merry way. The upstream side of this little log jam here might be the ticket though. It's nice and slack there. My dog's not trying to go for a dip. I just saw her get down there by the creek. She's weird. She will not just drink water out of a stream. She has to lay in it when she drinks it. So even when it's cold, she's going swimming to get a drink. And then I've got this nice, wet, stinky dog to take home. And wet, stinky, and cold. It's not a fun combination. Anybody who's a dog owner probably understands that. Evie, come on. Hey. Yep, she's in the, she's in the creek. Evie, come on. Get up here. Yep, she went for a swim. Completely wet dog. What are you doing? It's too cold for that. You are completely wet. Snout to tail. All right. You decided on that. You get to live with it. This looks too promising here. There's got to be some here. It's a chub hole if I've ever seen one. Probably doesn't help that my dog just jumped in it. Oh, there we go. Creek chub, ladies and gentlemen. Finally. That is what we're after. Catfish candy right there. Now I know this may seem a little barbaric, but you do what you gotta do. Just drop them in a freezer bag. But he will not get wasted, that's for sure. He'll end up being dinner for a, hopefully a nice big old channel cat, or if I'm lucky, Flathead may even take a frozen piece of cut chub. Yeah, I figured I'd have to find them here eventually. Oop. Oh yeah, they're sitting in this little pocket here. Evie had to point them out to me. That's what she was doing by swimming there. I think she was just showing me where the fish were. And if she was really on top of her game, she would have just gone down and caught a few on her own, but can't expect perfect. Uh, can't expect her to be perfect all the time, I suppose. I'll put that bobber back on. They seem to be a little bit more suspended than just sitting right on the bottom. Hi. You behaving? Huh? Staying out of trouble? I'll find another swimming hole.
Now these I'm pretty sure are shiners. With that stripe. Yeah, that's a shiner there. But he can be chunked up and used for bait too. We're not picky. All these oily little fish make great catfish bait. Like I said, the real reason I'm doing this now is because in a couple weeks we'll get a bunch of rain. Rivers and creeks and everything will swell up and get real muddy. And that's the best time to fish for catfish. But finding bait is hard at that time of year. Can't play all day, I guess. I love these first spring warm-ups. There's nothing like them. After a long winter, it's exactly what you need. Oh, yep, there's chubs or something in here. Yeah, there's a, there's a ton of them out there. Shouldn't be hard to catch a bunch of them here. There we go. Those are what we need there. That's a healthy chub. Good old creek chubs. Thank you, you little oily guys. Catch us some big whiskers. Ooh, that feels like another nice one. Oh yeah, we're going to have some good bait. There goes Evie racing after who knows what. She doesn't even know. She just knows she wants it, whatever it is. Evie, are you chasing the demons? Or are you the demon? I think you're the demon. Don't eat my bait, please. You've got good food at home. You don't need to be eating these oily things you'll throw up later. It's got some size to it. Do we have another nice chub or what do we have? Oh yeah. Chubosaurus Rex. That's right. Look at how fat these guys are right now. Well, I'd say today was a success for catching some catfish bait. Got at least two trips here. Some of those chubs are very big. So I've got three shiners. One of the shiners is a Mondo. And the rest are chubs, and they're all pretty big too. So I'm excited. I haven't done this in years. So last few springs when I wanted to go out catfishing, I spent a couple hours trying to catch bait when you know when things are tough to get bait. But now I've at least got two trips I can take without having to worry about that. Now while I'm fishing, I'll probably try and catch some live bluegills and stuff too, but got a backup plan, so. Hope you all have enjoyed this video and we'll catch you outside.